today I'm going to show you how to get a comic book or like a hand-drawn uh, art style render in Dad's 3D. And we're going to start by um, creating our character. And uh, if you don't know how to do this, you can check out one of my earlier tutorials on how to uh, how to create a character in Daz. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this part, and I'll uh, I'll put a link up above if you want to check out one of my other tutorials on how to do this. All right, so here is our completed uh, figure. Um, we got her dressed and got all of our materials put on. So I'm going to give you a quick preview of what this is going to look like in IRA view before we uh, before we change our textures. So what we're going to do in order to get our comic book or our hand drawn look is we're going to use an excellent tool called Sketchy uh, from Dimension Theory. And this is available on the Daz store. I will also put a link to this below. And if you're listening to this around the time of the recording, it's actually on sale for 58% off. I'm recording this on September 19th, 2020. So you can get this for $10.48 right now, which is normally uh, $25, which is an excellent deal. I mean, it's worth every penny. Uh, and you'll be able to see that in just a moment. All right, so um, I did a previous video on how to apply shaders, so I'm gonna post a link to that above as well. You should see that up there right now. And just in case you need a refresher on how to do shaders, because I'm gonna go through this just a little bit quicker. All right, so I'm gonna to go to surfaces. I'm going to select my figure. And then we're gonna be able to see every component of the figure plus whatever she's wearing. And I've got my uh, shaders in my content library. Just remember where you install these. Uh, they might be kind of difficult to find depending on where you put them. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and select everything. Actually, I'm just going to select my figure herself. Um, you might have to go through and select everything individually. Um, I'm going to select everything except for eyes, I believe. Let's do... Actually, let's try. I'm just going to select um, my absinthe figure, and we'll see if this works. Sometimes these shaders behave a little bit strangely, but we'll see what this does. So at the very top, we have the basic shaders. So this is going to just be kind of like a base that we're going to use. Um, so once you've got everything selected, uh, we're going to double-click that. There we go. So you can already see she's starting to take on kind of a more cartoonish appearance. And further on down, um, there are some other different textures that you can apply just to give her different kinds of styles. By the way, you should experiment with these. Each one of these gives a slightly different look. I'll show you a couple of them real quick. You can do them like with heavier borders. We'll load that one in. There we go. And then it's a lot more dramatic around the edges. Just uh, find the one that goes with whatever effect you're going for. I'm going to do kind of a subtle effect, so I'm doing the very uh, thin, thin lines. This is shader basic A. Uh, like this one is a sketch shader. It's going to make it look like a pencil drawing. Uh, there's also like a newsprint uh, shader that's going to give it more of an old school, like um, golden or silver age comic book vibe. And then further on down, we have crosshatch shaders, which are one of my favorites. I'll go ahead and show you a couple of these. We'll do one of these sketch shaders first. There we go. So you can kind of see the pencil markings. And then we'll do the uh, hexes. This is the one that's going to give it more of a newsprint kind of look. And these, your results will vary. Sometimes the, uh, sometimes the dots appear a little bit too large like that. So you might have to experiment and find the one that you like. Some of these look better at a distance. But there we go. Yeah, it gives it kind of a uh, kind of a newsprint look. So if I zoom out, the effect is a little bit less dramatic. Looks a little bit better. You can kind of see the effect they're going for. But uh, I think one of my favorite ones is the crosshatch. So that gives it a really cool, also kind of a hand drawn look, but a little bit different than the uh, sketch look. So you can kind of see the crosshatched uh, shadows around the edges. But I really like the way that one looks. So I generally apply shaders whenever I'm doing uh, these shaders. I generally apply them to the skin first, then I do the hair and the clothing. I like to do all of them separately because I don't necessarily always want the same effect. Uh, your results will vary a little bit, so sometimes uh, you don't want quite the same effect you do. You might want a little bit more dramatic or a less dramatic effect on the hair or on the clothing. So I'm going to select the hair. Oops, I accidentally selected everything. There we go. Select it over on your Surfaces tab. Yeah, do be sure you select it on the Surfaces tab or it won't work. Then I'm going to go through the same things. 
gonna select my basic shader. There we go, and then my crosshatch. Excellent, and then the same thing with the rest of her clothes. So we're gonna do the bone conjurer boots. Uh, oops, there we go. Boots, the pants, and the top. You can just hold down control and select each one of these in turn. I recommend not doing the eyes with this. For some reason, um, I, I never get good results with the eyes. Every time I try to apply these shaders to the eyes, they just turn plain white. You can't really even tell. Like they they look really really nice with just with the regular look. You don't even have to put the shaders on them. All right, so let's do the clothes. Oh wait, sorry, when you do the clothes, you have to select them over here. You can't just select the body. So I've got to select conjurer top, bone conjurer top, sorry. There we go, that's it, that's excellent. And I'm gonna try a different crosshatch shader on this one. I'm gonna try one of the more dramatic ones and we'll see how that looks. There we go. I really like the dramatic, the really heavy uh, shaders on the clothes. I like those less on the skin. I'll go ahead and do the uh, the boots and the pants, and then I'll show you what that looks like on the skin. And uh, you be the judge. You might like it a little bit better than I do, but like I said, I like the really dramatic effect on the clothing, not so much on the uh, on the skin itself. There we go. And then we're going to do the boots the same way. Select them in the uh, uh, preview window, preview pane. Select them over here on the surfaces tab and then select your shader excellent and um, of course the uh, the way the cross hatches are drawn on those are the shadows in the scene so if you want those to be a little bit less dramatic you can always use uh, you can experiment with lighting to get different effects with the cross hatch uh, be sure to check out one of my lighting tutorials on uh, three point lighting especially would be a good one or the one on using primitives as a lighting source and those will uh, show you some different lighting methods that you can use to get some different looks. All right, I pretty much got her set the way that I want her. I'm just going to put her in a kind of a dramatic pose real quick that's very comic book villain-like, and then we'll, uh, we'll do a render, and we'll see what she looks like. There we go. That's a good pose. And I'm going to go over to Render Settings, and I'm going to pick a uh, Golden Ratio Portrait. That's uh, the one that I really like to do for uh, for portrait style uh, renders. And my height, yeah, I'm going to leave that at 1080. Zoom out just a little bit, get all over in frame. Actually, just to get a little bit more detail, I think I'm going to do that at a higher resolution. Let's go ahead and do that at 1440. There we go. And you'll probably find that these, even though we're using a third-party shader, they might actually um, render a little bit faster because they're not quite as detailed as the uh, the regular uh, shaders. There we go. We're going to render to a new window. All right, let's render this, and then we'll check it out in a moment. There we go. That is our finished render. And looks pretty good. So you can go in there and uh, experiment with some lighting, maybe get rid of some of those really dramatic shadows, and that might clean it up a little bit. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with that one so far. I definitely like the look of the, the really dark crosshatch on the uh, on the clothing there. So if you like the video, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got m many, many more of these uh, coming up in the near future. And that will do us. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.